Okay, let's have a look at to full. So we're going to carry on with the vocabulary. Hi, V, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, and I see there too. Okay, so last time we stopped at test two and we stopped at cashier. Here, cashier. Uh, v, what is a cashier? Cashier is a store clerk, a person who accepts payments at a store or place of business. Yes, a cashier is somebody at the supermarket that takes your products and they ring it up and they tell you how much you must pay, right? That is a cashier. Okay, I see. Make us your own sentence with cashier. Um, give the clothes to the cashier who will tell you uh, how much your clothes. How much your clothes is, yes, good. Okay, allowance. I see, tell us what is allowance. Allowance. Your city, what is allowance? I can't hear you. I see you need to unmute, see? Allowance, what is an allowance? Allowance uh, is spending money that a uh, parent uh, give a uh, choose on a regular basis. Yes, so allowance that your parents gives you. You don't have to work for it. They give it to you for free. It's an allowance. They give it to you and you can go buy things with it. Okay, V, make your own sentence with allowance. I received uh, my uh, 15 allowance from my mother every Monday. I received I receive my? 15 allowance. From my mother. No, you say you say I receive my allowance of fifteen dollars. I receive month. my allowance yeah. of fifteen dollars. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. I see. Read to us. What is cheat? Cheat. Cheat means uh to use improper or ear illegal. Illegal methods to the something to, to do, do something. something, yes. To use improper or illegal, something that's wrong, you can't do it. Method to do something. So I'm writing all the answers on my hand. And when I go to the test, I look on my hand and I write it down. That's a wrong method, that's inappropriate, it's improper or illegal. You're not allowed to do that. Or I take little notes, little papers, and I look on the papers, like crypt notes. Or I go steal the, the exam paper from my teacher's desk, and I take photos on my phone, and I put it back, and I go study the test. That's illegal, then I'm cheating. Um, I can also, on, say you're on an eating plan, you're eating healthy, and then when mommy is not looking, you're eating a chocolate. And mommy is thinking you're eating very healthy, then you're cheating. If I eat my dinner and I give some of my food to the dog and mom doesn't see it, then I'm cheating. Okay? Cheating is being, um, it, it's methods that you use to win or to finish or to do better without anybody seeing it. It's wrong. If you cheat on a test, you will get zero. V, can you make a sentence with cheat? We shouldn't cheat when taking a test. Yes, good. V, you can read what is concentrate. Concentrate. Concentrate means to focus. We need to concentrate in order to understand this material. You have to focus. You have to concentrate. You can't be on your phone. You can't listen to music. You can't 
write something as your homework while we do this class because then you're not focused okay okay um okay i see you make a sentence with concentrate um you must to concentrate your lesson you must concentrate say again you must you must uh to concentrate on your lesson you must concentrate during your lesson you must concentrate yeah. During your lesson time, you must concentrate. Okay. Conquer. I see you read to us what is conquer. Conquer. Okay, read here. What is conquer? Of mm, a uh, Often in battle. Yes, it's to defeat, to win, to beat somebody. Um, so if you win or you are the best, then you conquer them. You can also conquer your fears, defeat your fears. Um, now, my fear is, look, is uh, seeing snakes. So now I'm going to go to a snake park and I'm going to pick a snake up. So I'm going to conquer my fears. I'm going to beat my fears. I'm going to win it. I'm going, not going to be scared anymore. The invaders, arm, the invaders' armies conquered everyone who opposed them. So they beat everyone who opposed them. Uh, v, can you make a sentence with conquer? Mm. I'm going to conquer the dog. Yes, I'm going to defeat the dog. My fear. I'm going to conquer my fear of the dog. My fear. I'm going to conquer my fear of the dog. Yes, good. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Jenny. Hi, teacher. Okay. Okay, uh, consult. Ni, you can read to us consult. What is consult? This one here, consult. Consult. Yes, what is it? To? To check or uh, to look at, to ex examine. 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 I see. Where do you think you go when you need to consult somebody? Can you make a sentence with consult? For example, the doctor. Um, oh, mommy, my arm is hurting and it's been a week now. Okay, I see. I think we need to go. We need to go and consult a doctor so that the doctor can check or look at it or examine it. Consult your schedule in case you do not remember which class you have. Check your schedule, okay? Okay, I see you make a sentence with consult. Um, uh, you should uh, go to consult your health um once a week you need to consult your health, your health okay your health situation okay once a week okay so you can consult that good let's put us here counselor v what is a counselor read to us what a counselor is counselor, counselor. Is a person who provides advice. Yes. So I can be an educational counselor. I can give you advice on your SA, how to study, study methods, reading methods, listening methods. The doctor can is a counselor and he can give you advice on your health. 
Then you also have a counselor when people have problems, their head um, worries a lot. And they say your head runs away with you. You always worry about something that you can't control. Then you go to a counselor. There's lots of time counselors at school as well. If you get bullied, and you go to the counselor and the counselor will give you advice. Me, you can make your own sentence with the counselor. The school counselor will keep everything that you say private. Now you can make your own sentence with counselor me. Um. Your best friend will. Uh, no. Can you give me an example? The school counselor will keep everything that you say private. A counselor is somebody that gives you advice. But it can't be your friend. A counselor is somebody as a professional, like an educational counselor, uh, um, emotional counselor, a bully counselor, a divorce counselor. A marriage counselor. If you have problems in your marriage, you go to a counselor and they try and help you and give you advice of what you can do. There's a child counselor. If your child has problems, and you go to the counselor. For example, my mom took my brother to the counselor because he gets bullied a lot. Um, I need to talk to my educational counselor for study for better study methods because I keep failing my English. You understand? Yes. Okay, see if you can make your own sentence. The counselor will help you to do that. Which counselor? The educational counselor or Remember, that's very vague. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about a marriage counselor? Are you talking about a child counselor? So you can say, um, the counselor will help my brother overcome his fear to go to school. Or the counselor will help my dad um, and mom with their relationship or marriage. Okay, let's go move on. I see crack. Crack. What is crack? Uh, a break of fractures in something so. A fracture in a something fracture. solid. A fracture is like a, like a crack. Sometimes you'll see like a fine line. Then it's a crack. It's a fracture. It's not broken, it's, it hasn't break, it hasn't broken yet, it doesn't break. But uh, for example, hmm, if you have a piece of paper or a piece of wood and you bend it and you see a little crack in it, you can always see through it, but it's not broken yet, then it's a crack. Okay, yeah. I, uh, V, you can make a sentence with crack. The cup has, has cracked. Say again. The cup has cracked. The cup has, yes, good job. So the cup has a crack in, so you can't have coffee in that cup anymore. Okay, V, read the word departure. What is a departure? Departure means a going away or a yes. seat. Yes, you're going away. Um, I see you can make your own sentence with departure. Uh, the departure. Um, the departure of the cars. Um, is wrong. 
we can't depart um, in the car because the car has broken down. We can't go away from the car. We can't depart. Um, when is your departure? It means when do you leave? When is your departure to go to go to China? When is your departure to go to China? When are you leaving for China? We can't depart um, with you. Can't leave with you because my child is sick. I can't leave with you. I can't depart with you. Uh, Ni, what is this count? A lower price uh, reduction. Yes, a lower reduction. price or a reduction. For example, you can buy a pizza for, for $15. But for today only, you can buy it for $10. So it's a lower price, it's a reduction, it's a special or a bargain. Um, I see you can make one with discount. Discount. You can get a discount every time you shop with a membership card or every Wednesday you get a discount. Or when you buy two, you get a discount. If you buy one, you pay $15. If you get two, you pay $10. Okay, make your own sentence with discount, I see. Um. B, can you help her with discount? When you buy four, you can get a discount. If you buy four, you can get a discount. Uh, you can also say, if you book online, you get a 10% discount. Do I get a discount today? If you are a student, you get a discount. If you are a senior citizen, you get discount. Okay. Um, I see read display. What is display, I see? Uh, an exhibition or showing. Or oh, showing. Me, the rock display at the museum attracted a large number of visitors. Display. Can you make your own sentence with display? Mm. That picture is uh, display in the uh, museum near our school. Is it your picture? Whose picture? My picture, my picture is being displayed in the museum near my school. Okay, V, eager. Eager means willing to do something. Yes. Um, the girls, enthusiastic. enthusiastic or excited. The girls are eager to try out for the school's volleyball team. I am eager to go on holiday. I am eager to see my friend that I haven't seen in two years. I'm excited. I'm eager to help my mom with the, with the cooking tonight because we're making pizzas. Okay, V, can you make your own sentence with eager? I will eager to visit my grandparents at the weekend. I am eager to visit my grandparents at the weekend. I am eager. 
Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Gianni, left over, left over. Left over. Left over. Is mean remaining. Yes. There is some leftover food in the refrigerator if you are hungry. Okay, can you make a sentence with leftover knee? There is uh, there are lots of uh, leftover food uh, today. There are a lot of leftover lunch today. Let's keep it for tomorrow. Let's let's eat it tomorrow. Okay, lively. I see lively means energetic, lots of energy. I cannot believe how lively the students are this afternoon. Lively, lots of energy. Can you make your own sentence with lively? Lively. Lively means lots of energy. I like to do something. It's lots of energy. I'm not sitting like this. You have to be lively if you want to, when you say your SA. You have to be energetic, full of life. You can't just stand there and talk to the people. You have to act. You have to be lively when you're on the stage. Okay, I see. Let's see if you can make yours. Um. You are so lively today. Why are you so lively today? My two-year-old sister is lively after a chocolate. And she's got lots of energy. Okay, mascara. Mascara. It's a mass murder. Often of villains or unarmed people. Sorry, it's not that way. Um, here. Here. A massacre. A massacre. A massacre is a mass murder. Lots of people died. A massacre. The enemy army, the enemy army committed a massacre of an entire village. They killed lots of people together. The enemy army committed a massacre. Massacre means mass, lots of people. Massive, massive means huge, big, massive, huge, very big. Ni, make a sentence with massive. There is a massive house uh, uh, in the corner of the street. On the corner of my street, a massive house, very big. V, moist. Moist is slightly wet or damp. The laundry is still moist. Or your hair is still moist. Why is your hair so moist? Damp or slightly wet? You need to put it in the dryer. You need to dry your hair. You can't go sleep with moist hair. Okay. Um, okay, Ni. I'm sorry, not Ni. V, you can make a sentence with moist. Um, I feel the floor is still moist. The floor is still moist. Please be careful. 
Okay, I see overrun. Overrun means to invade, to overwhelm, or to overcome. These fields were overrun by millions of insects. Overrun, to invade or to overwhelm. I was overrun by all my homework. I felt overwhelmed. Overrun. Remember, overrun is to take over, to spread over. Now the massive or the, the uh, fields were overrun by millions of insects. It spread, the insects spread over it. My apple were, was overrun by ants. Millions of ants walked all over my apple or my sandwich when I wanted to eat it. Overrun. Uh, Vietnam is overrun with tourists in the summer. It's spread with um, tourists. It's spread, lots of them. Okay, so if you can make your own sentence with overrun, we will stop here and then we're going to do some listening. Okay, I see overrun. Um. Um, the park was overrun by little kids because of a because of the circus or because of a party or because of um, activities or the school that visited the park you can say anything the park was overrun by little kids because of the circus. Circus came to town. Do you understand what overrun means? Yeah. Okay. okay we're going to stop here. We'll go to the listening. I know listening is a part that you are struggling with. So we're going to do it slowly and together and see if you can manage to find the answers. Okay. Let me just go up to that. Uh, we did it at test time. Let's just go up to test three quickly for you guys. Um, and it was test three, and we stopped at number 13. I think it's this one. Okay. Yeah, that's two, let's go to three. Okay, listening up to number 30. So we're gonna start here, 31. Okay, let me move us over and then I'll listen to keywords. Remember, listening is all about finding the keywords. And then if you don't hear the word, it can't be that answer. You need to hear the word. Okay, let me find this three. Number 30. I think we're starting at 31. Questions 31 through 34. Listen to a teacher talking in a biology class. Marsupials are among the oddest of all the families of animals. They're mammals, such as opossums, kangaroos, wombats, koalas, and wallabies. As you might have guessed from the list I just gave you, the vast majority of marsupials live in Australia. 
Many others are found in South America. As for here in North America, well, the only marsupial native to this continent is the opossum. How are marsupials different from other mammals? Uh, okay. V, according to the teacher, where do most marsupials presently live? I think V, Australia. Yes. Why does the teacher mention the opossum? Okay, now listen carefully. To name the only marsupial in North America, to compare it with a kangaroo, to describe how it gives birth to its young, or to point out that it has a very poor eyesight. And what makes them special? The primary difference concerns how they give birth. Almost every female mammal has a placenta in her womb. The baby, or babies, develops and grows in the womb and gets nourishment from the placenta. A marsupial, however, doesn't have a placenta. Instead, marsupial's womb is more like um, an egg. A baby marsupial only lives in its mother's womb for a short time. In the womb is a substance that's sort of like an egg yolk. Well, once the baby is born, it crawls into its mother's pouch. Uh, yeah. Okay, why does the teacher mention the opossum? Uh, v? Sorry, sorry, not V. Sorry, V. Sorry, I see. Sorry, I see. Why does the teacher mention the opossum? Mm. What did she talk about mainly? About the eyesight, bird, kangaroo? Mm. Me. Uh, what do you think, me? I think it is C. Yeah, she mainly, she mainly spoke about the birth of the little ones, of the baby or babies. Spoke about the birth. What does a possible female lack? What don't they have? What does the teacher, what does the teacher imply about marsupials? They were more of them in the past. It is likely that they will go in extinct. Most of their, them are unable to adapt or they are less involved than the may, may majority of other animals. Okay, let's see if this will work again. Number 32. Questions 31 through 34. Let's listen. Listen to a teacher talking in a biology class. Marsupials are among the oddest of all the families of animals. They're mammals, such as opossums, kangaroos, wombats. What does the female not have? As you might have guessed from the list I just gave you, the vast majority of marsupials live in Australia. Many others are found in South America. As for here in North America, well, the only marsupial native to the continent is the opossum. How are marsupials different from other mammals? Uh, I mean, what makes them special? The primary difference concerns how they give birth. Almost every female mammal has a placenta in her womb. The baby, or babies, develops and grows in the womb and gets nourishment from the placenta. A marsupial, however, doesn't have a placenta. Instead, a marsupial's womb is more like um, an egg. A baby... Okay, a marsupial female doesn't have a placenta. It's almost like an egg. Okay, I see number 33. What is the most superior female lack? Lack means what does she not have? Uh, I think B, a yes. placenta. Yes, okay. Now listen to number 34. What does the teacher imply about mass appeals? Imply means what does she think about them? Baby marsupial only lives in its mother's womb for a short time. 
in the womb is a substance that's sort of like an egg yolk. Well, once the baby is born, it crawls into its mother's pouch. Uh, yeah, that's another characteristic of marsupials. Every female marsupial has a pouch in the front of her body. This pocket-like area is where her nipples are. So uh, the baby crawls into the pouch, latches onto a nipple, and starts feeding on its mother's milk. Depending on the species, the baby will stay in the pouch for weeks or months until it's mature enough to survive on its own. Nowadays, as I mentioned, marsupials primarily live in Australia and South America. DNA testing has shown that they actually originated in South America. However, marsupial fossils have been found on every continent. Thus, they were once much more widespread. So here's a question. What happened that caused them to die out on the other continents? And here's another question. Why do they thrive in Australia? As for the answers to those two questions, no one is really sure. But many experts believe it has to do with how marsupials give birth. Marsupial females are only pregnant for a short time. And pregnant females are vulnerable in many ways. So, in the harsh, hot climate of Australia, it's possible that marsupial females were able to survive more easily than other female mammals. No. Okay. V, what does the teacher imply about marsupials? She didn't say, I didn't hear the word extinct. So she didn't say that they are going extinct, that you won't find them anymore. She did say they were widely spread in the past than only in Australia. I think it's number eight. There were more of them in the past than in the present. Okay. Me, what do you think? A, C, or D? I think it's D. They are less evol evolved than the majority of the mammals. Okay. And yes. I see, what do you think? I see. What do you think? Mm, I think D. They are less evolved than the majority of other animals. That means they develop more slowly. But I think it's A, because there were more of them in the past than in the present. She said they died out in the other continents, but not in Australia. They thrived in Australia because... Um, she said they are vulnerable when they are pregnant. So there were lots of them. They were in all of the, the continents, but now they're only in Australia. So there were more of them in the past than today. So it is A. Okay, let's listen. I'll answer the questions. Questions 35 through 38. Listen to a teacher talking in a social studies class. What's the main topic? In my opinion, the most beautiful part of the country is the Southwest. I'm referring specifically to the land in the states of Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado. If you ever get a chance to go there, you should. One reason that the region is so amazing is that there are a large number of different land features there. You all know about the Grand Canyon in Arizona. Canyons are quite impressive. But before we discuss them, I want to cover three other land features. They are buttes, mesas, and plateaus. Kathy, your hand is up. Do you have a question? Yes, Mr. Wilkinson, I do. I thought that... What is the main topic about IC? Mm, 